Hello everyone, welcome to this next instalment of my Star Wars Legion Painting Guide series. Today we're going to be looking at General Veers. So General Veers is a commander expansion for the Empire faction in Fantasy Flight Games Star Wars Legion. He uh, comes as a single model with five parts, four parts, five if you include the base, which are the two arms, the body and the head. Um, all fits together quite easily. Mine does have a slightly odd pose. He should be looking like he's moving forward purposefully, advancing. But mine seems to look like he's taken aback by something, like he's been surprised. I don't know. I'm not really too sure why. I don't know if the body's slightly warped out of shape. But this is made in the older style um, material that they were using, rather than the new hard plastic, which you find when you're looking at um, Anakin Skywalker and Darth Maul. But either way, it's a great figure, a lot of character in it. General Veers isn't really in the film much. You see him um, very quickly when Vader tells him to prepare the troops for a ground assault. And then you see him again um, riding in the at, -AT as they're heading towards attacking uh, the rebel base on Hoth. He's played by um, Julian Glover, which I didn't realise actually. Um, and of course he's gone on to be in lots and lots of films and TV shows. Um, I know he's played Grand Maester Pycelle in uh, Game of Thrones. He's been in lots of famous, famous shows and films. So that's something interesting that I found out, and which I wouldn't have known um, if I hadn't looked this up. So his uniform is very, um, and I, I'd say it's very similar in colour to a lot of um, Second World War German uniforms. So a lot of very green greys and that sort of shade and tone. So to paint this model, and it should be relatively simple because a lot of it is very similar in colour. So to start off by using the Vallejo basic skin tone to pick out his face. He is wearing gloves, so I won't need to bother with that. For his boots and gloves, I'll pick those out using Vallejo's model colour um, black grey. And I'll also do that on his holster and his blaster as well. For the body armour, I'll be using the Vallejo extra opaque heavy green which is a very dark green but highlights up quite well using a um, Iraqi sand beige to make it sort of move away from green more away to sort of like a khaki colour. And then for the trousers and for the sleeves I'll be using the extra opaque heavy grey which isn't particularly grey at all it is more a green. So I'm going to lay those down um, just using a regular sort of uh, base brush I bought some new brushes recently from Broken Toad so I'll be using the size 1 brush from them and so far so good, they're fantastic and I love them. Um, I'll go ahead and get those paints down and then once we've finished with that I'll come back and look at the next step. Thank you. So since the last segment I've actually applied two washes to this model. There is still one more to go and a couple of other bits I need to pick out but I thought I'd just come in here and sort of like show you a bit about the difference these washes can make. So the face was originally painted with Vallejo's basic skin tone. Now that's just a flat flesh colour. I've then applied a single layer <clears throat> of the Vallejo game wash. It's a flesh wash. You could use any other flesh wash you have, but you can see what it does. It really, if I zoom in a bit, it really gets into the recesses on the face and brings out the detail. Now if you wanted, you could stop here and call that face done. But for me, I prefer to add a couple more layers. I'm going to add the eyes as well. And the wash is just a brilliant way of tying it all together. So personally, I'll end up going in and highlighting the face again with the basic skin tone. I'll then be adding in a little bit of light flesh. And between those two, I'll probably use a, probably a watered down flesh wash as well just to sort of like tie it back together so that you don't end up with the face looking streaky or that it's too over highlighted but it will it looks just right so on top of that wash or not on top of it sorry as well as that wash on the body armor and the legs I actually went ahead and used a citadel shade and I've only recently bought this um, I used it on some rebel troops I've got but you can really see it's a nice dark green grimy wash which actually would do quite well if you're trying to paint 
mildew or algae or sort of like green growth on something. But on a model like this, when you're looking at, for example, the arms here, when you're looking at the backs of the trousers, it does a really good job of getting into those crevices and actually just sort of like accentuating the green rather than putting a brown wash over it and just making it almost look a bit dirty. So really like this shade actually. Um, first time I've used it. Well, no, sorry, not first time, but the first time I've really sort of like thought about how I can use it. Next up will be a bit of um, Nuln Oil just on the boots, the holster and his gloves there, just on the black areas, because Nuln Oil works on the um, Vallejo black grey very well in that it doesn't turn it to black, but it just sort of like gets it to that level where you can start to highlight to make it look a bit better. So once the highlights are done, I'll go back to the um, the trousers and the jacket with a highlight of the heavy grey again, so back to the original colour. I'll then add in a bit of that uh, Vallejo game colour earth. So that sort of just lightens the um, tone slightly without going too far. And then for an extreme highlight, I'll add a little bit of model colour Iraqi sand. And even for the... Um, chest plate I'll use a very similar process where I'll actually use the game color heavy green and then a little bit of the earth and then Iraqi sand just to highlight it up a little bit I won't go too far on that because actually the color looks pretty good there's details to pick out um, of course there's his um, Britney Spears style headset that needs to be picked out um, I'll need to pick out the details on his goggles there's a um, sort of like rank um, insignia on his chest there which needs to be picked out along with a couple of the other details on the um, front here and is there anything on the back? I don't think there is anything. Oh yeah there's a sort of like mini a little bit like the Stormtrooper chest plate on the back just a little bit different. All details to pick out and of course then there'll be the boots so after the boots have had the non oil wash I'll come back and I'll do them again with a bit of black grey I'll add in a little bit of London grey and then anything that needs an extreme highlight, I'll use either Stonewall Grey or Vallejo's model colour Light Grey. So you can see, I mean, if you've watched some of my previous videos, there's quite a step, set way where I will highlight certain things in certain orders with certain colours over and over again to achieve a certain finish. So we'll pause here. I'll come back. It might be a couple of days for me, a couple of seconds for you. And we'll go to the next step. So here we now have the finished General Beers model. and. As I mentioned in the previous section, I just went away and I highlighted the bits and pieces, like for example, um, his chest armour here, um, the clothing he's got, I've highlighted his boots, done a little bit of highlighting as well, you can kind of see on his, the holster, gave the gun a dry brush of uh, metal, because I think it looks a bit better than just being plain black. Um, I've gone through and I've highlighted just the outline of his goggles there. Um, put the details on his insignia or the rank badge there a couple other little um, what look like they're meant to be lights and yeah added some silver on some of the parts here on the helmet as that seems to be the case when you look at the pictures online but I really like this one actually I mean it's quite quite simple a lot of green a um, lot of highlighting so very similar colors used a um, lot of the heavy green, a lot of um, Iraqi sand, just to bring up the green to a, a lighter shade. And it's a nice model. Um, last thing to do really will be to paint his base black. That will be um, simply because I haven't yet decided on my sort of like basing theme for um, anything yet, whether that's for my um, rebels or my imperials. Um, so I'm still a little bit torn on what to do. So I'm leaving the bases blank until I know exactly what I want to do and then I'll just base everyone all at once. Um, so, yeah, really like this, really happy with the face, that's come out very nicely. Um, I'm finding a lot of these um, Star Wars sculpts have got fantastic facial features, so it makes painting them very easy. So, thanks for watching, hopefully this has been useful, and keep an eye out for my next set of videos. Cheers.